Hey everybody, in this video we are going to take a look at getting you started with Java. Uh, it's going to require two things. You have to install the latest JDK, which is the Java Development Kit. This is a bunch of files that are needed when you're programming in Java that it's going to use. And next you need a program that will let you compile your Java and edit your programming files. And one available one is Apache NetBeans, and it's called an iDegree, Integrated Development Environment. Um, and then the third step we'll do is we're just going to test the install with a really short program, no lines of code, but just to see if everything works. So here we go, installing the latest JDK. So the Java Development Kit, okay, it's free to download from oracle.com. Um, I just did a Google search here, just go JDK 13, which is uh, today is the latest one, uh, September 2020. And you'll probably get this, Java SC Development Kit 13. So you can click there. It'll take you here, and you can just scroll down and pick the one for your system. Uh, I would pick the installer, so mine's Windows 64 installer. Give it a download. You'll see they have Linux and Macs also there. Um, it might prompt you for a Oracle account, which is free to set up, but they do want like your name, phone number, etc. You can give it a fake phone number, you can give it a fake email that you make with your Gmail, something like that. It's up to you whether you want to give it good credentials or not, but it will email you a little activation code, so it has to be some email you can receive. Um, anyways, once you got that, that's good. Then you're going to go to Apache NetBeans, which is at netbeans.apache.org. So I just Google searched Apache NetBeans. And you're going to get Welcome to Apache NetBeans, which will take you there. Okay, and you'll see the latest right now when I'm downloading this is Apache NetBeans 12. And so I'm going to use this one. Um, and then here you're going to see there's the download button. And you'll see here you can also pick your Windows, Linux, Macs. Uh, I'd go for an installer, so grab those two files. Okay, so once you have those two files, they're like 100 meg, 150 meg each, you'll be ready to get going. So let's get the JD key downloading. I reviewed, download. And there's my Oracle account. I already have one, so I'll just sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll see it downloading here in your window. That's great. Let's get the NetBeans going here. Let's go for the Windows 64 for mine. And it doesn't really matter where you grab it from. Pick one of the links and get that downloading. Okay, and then just wait a minute or two and let that finish. All right, once both have downloaded, we're going to start with the JDK first. Okay, this is important. Um, it saves you a little extra step later on. So make sure the JDK gets in first and just go to your download folder, give it a run. It's going to give your typical uh, let me install here. Just click yes. And when it comes to any options, just keep clicking next, uh, motoring through to let the install run. Notice where it's going C drive, program files, Java folder, it's going to be made, JDK 13. Okay, and just let it run its course. You'll eventually hit successful. Just hit close. Okay, that part's done. Now let's get Apache going. So again, just double click. Okay, when it finishes up here, just click next and just keep clicking next. I might get some different options than you because I've had a previous version of NetBeans, but you're going to see here, this is the one important one. It'll say install the Apache NetBeans IDE2 and it wants to know which folders, so that's fine. C program files NetBeans 12. And then this part here, this path should be the path to the JDK that you've installed. Uh, your computer should know that it was installed in C program files Java JDK 13, which was the folder where it was installed. If this line is left blank, you're going to have to browse and select that folder to tell it to use the Java Development Kit 13. So you might have to fill that line with browse. And just let it keep going. When it's all done, a little finish. Okay, and there we go. So basically what you did there is you installed the latest JDK. We installed the latest Apache NetBeans. 
And now we want to test out the installation with a simple program. So let's go to do that. Uh, somewhere on your desktop, go find the new link to Apache NetBeans IDE. Give it a click and we'll open it up and I'll show you how to just get a quick little program going so you can test this out. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Your list here, whoops, oh, I forgot one more thing here. You might need one extra little plugin uh, for this to run. So here it really quickly said, oh, you need a little bit more. I'll just say accept, install. And so it's going to download just one additional plugin or two to get this going. So just work yourself through that and install those ones. Okay, those have done. Okay, I cleared my old project center. So this is what you're going to see. We're going to go File, New Project. You have a couple choices here. We're going to pick Java with Ant, Java Application. Uh, don't worry about the rest here. That's just our little test. Java with Ant, Java Application, next. It's going to want a name. You could just say Tester for a Tester Project. And here it says Create Main Class. Take that off. Okay, I don't want it to create anything in my project yet, right? So just fill out the name, no check marks. Oh, project name already exists. I'll just do uh, Tester 2020. Oh, it already exists. How about Tester 2021? Finish. Okay, and then you get some stuff here. We'll explain this in a video that comes up, but here we go. You're going to go to this folder called Source Packages. You're going to right-click it and go New. And look for J frame form. We'll click it. Just leave the name, the default name there. Who cares? Class name, new J frame. Hit finish. What you're going to see it do, it's going to pull up a frame. It's like a window. This is actually your program here. And you're going to see over here on the side, you have a window called palette. I'm going to drag one button over from the swing control section. One button, just put it somewhere. That's it. That's our whole program. Let's hit the green button to play. And it'll ask you what class do you want to run. Just hit OK. And this should be it. We should have a little window pop up with a button. And that's basically your program. And if that works, then you know your installation's pretty well done well. And Java's going to work. And then you can go on to the other uh, videos or lessons or start working with Java. And there it is. And so there's your program. The button does nothing because we haven't coded anything, but that's pretty good. You can maximize it, you can stop it, and there you go. You've installed and tested out your Java and it works. Now you can start to learn the code. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps you get up and going.